The two school board members I spoke with tell me they understand that not everyone will agree with the superintendent's changes to the mask policy, but they believe it's important as COVID-19 cases continue to rise. But this is the closest thing that we can come to um, trying to make everyone happy while keeping everyone safe. Palm Beach County Public School students and staff will now be required to wear masks when they return on Tuesday. Parents can choose to opt their student out of wearing the mask by sending a letter to their child's teacher. It would say that my child will not be participating in masking this year and just name the children and have the parents sign the hard copy letter. The superintendent's changes to the policy comes after decisions were made on Friday by the Florida Board of Education and the Department of Health. I know that it was short notice and I wish it had been a longer turnaround to give folks that information and they could make decisions they felt they needed to make, but we, our hands were tied by the state. With the new changes, there is a concern about how teachers and staff will be able to enforce the mask policy. We are gonna use the system we have for the students, the SIS portal, we're going to have in there, they did sign the waiver or they did not sign the waiver. So teachers can always in a minute, in a second's notice, readily see what the student status is. The Classroom Teachers Association President Justin Katz said they're having discussions with school district staff about the superintendents changing his position to mandatory masks for employees. He said in a statement, quote, we believe this needs to be bargained and employees with a proof of vaccination should be given options and leeway. Board member Whitfield said that is something that should be discussed if mask policy stays in place for a longer time. I want to make sure that they feel represented in this discussion. But for right now, it's it's really just because the numbers are so high and we're all hoping we can get away from masking in the near future. In a statement, the school board chairman Frank Barbieri said it is important to understand that they will that the facial covering requirement will be revisited continually and modified as health conditions improve. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, Anna Espinosa to be PBF 25 News.